Hey, this is Kelly with GRTK with Tesla News. Volkswagen takes on Tesla with the first ID.4 electric models in China. Volkswagen AG launched the two ID.4 electric sport utility vehicles in China on Tuesday, taking on Tesla Incorporated in the world's biggest auto market. The ID.4 Cross model is made by Volkswagen with a joint venture with FAW Group, while the ID.4X is produced by a separate venture with SAIC Motor. The models mark the start of a major push by Volkswagen in the electric vehicle market in China to take on the likes of Tesla and NIO Incorporated. The German group did not disclose the price of the two models, but the presentation at the product launch said that the starting price of the SUVs, which are larger than Tesla's China-made Model 3 sedans, will be less than 250,000 yen, which is 37,000 $450. After electric vehicle subsidies from the Chinese government, the starting price of the Model 3 sedans in China is currently 249,900 yen after subsidies. Sales of electric plug-in hybrid and hydrogen powered vehicles in China are forecasted to rise to 20% of new car sales for 2025 from just 5% now. The state council said on Monday around 1.1 million such vehicles are expected to be sold in China this year. Who said 2020 has been a disaster? Certainly not Elon Musk. He is storming his way up the Bloomberg Billionaire Index rankings, breathing down the necks of regulars like Jeff Bales and Bill Gates. Tesla shares and stock values are climbing. The market value surging past the 100 billion mark. And to add to his list of achievements this year, he became a father together with the team of Frost and Sullivan. We have been tracking Musk's strategy closely over the years. And here, now we believe that he is going about creating it. Seven strategies at the core of Tesla's master plan. As the electric autonomous driving vehicle revolution accelerates, Tesla is leading from the front with replacing horsepower with processing units. Much like Apple, Tesla's chips have been designed in-house for a very specific use case, i.e. autonomous driving. This along with ARM architecture is fast tracking Tesla's autonomous agenda. In the process, Tesla is inventing a new currency that pivots around how much processing power can be utilized to support progressively superior energy efficiencies across core powertrain components. For instance, the Model 3 has a 250 kilowatt energy consumption, which is important in city environments because every mile saved from an energy density battery is critical currency. This gains even more importance because Musk is targeting urban robo taxis, as were 90% of Model 3 vehicles will be leased and subsequently return to Tesla's charging networks. What Tesla
Tesla has done is use its cutting edge customized chip architecture system to dictate the narrative around EVAD, encouraging future customers to evaluate vehicles based on a completely new set of currencies. Again, this is a core currency. I expect every car company and major industrial manufacturer will need to develop in-house in the future. Whether through insourcing or collaborations such as Daimler with NVIDIA. In terms of electrification, I think the fundamental point is that Tesla vehicles is not just a car. In terms of electrification, I think the fundamental point is that the Tesla vehicle is not just a car. It's a lifestyle statement. It's about creating a highly connected electric car that supports superior performance and range attributes and provides a top-notch customer experience across all elements of a driver's vehicle's life onboard experience. This could, in terms of customized suspension settings for driving on bumpy roads or the complete redefined kid-friendly entertainment features, which for personal experiences have owned, having owned a Tesla for the last four years is a boon for parents, especially on long car journeys exponential changes in the software OTA enabled through a very seamless OS and backed by local focus of its gigafactories. For instance, the new gigafactory in Austin, Texas will concentrate on high demand cyber trucks and semis for the U.S. market, allowing the Tesla brand to be relevant to multiple customers while being able to aggressively attack new segments globally. Meanwhile, Tesla in ludicrous mode with its data business model. The business model works on the concept that any utility company or business entity, even other automakers, can use Tesla's cutting edge auto bidder software to dispatch energy on the fly based on energy forecasting, dispatch optimization, and load forecasting. The auto bidder software enables this by feeding not customers data but vehicle data. On October 23, 2020, Tesla recalls nearly 50,000 Model S and Model X cars in China over faulty suspensions. The Chinese State Administration for Marketing Regulation announced that Tesla is recalling nearly 50,000 of its Model S and Model X electric vehicles. Tesla is recalling up to 48,442 of its Model S and Model X electric vehicles, which were made in the U.S. and sold to customers in China, over potential faulty and unsafe front and rear suspension. The Chinese State Administration for Market Regulation announced the recall Thursday night. Tesla's share price went down nearly 2% on Friday. China's industry news site, Gasco, reported the recall affects 29,193 imported Model S's and Model X's produced between September 17, 2013 and August 16, 
2017, and 19,249 imported Model S's produced between September 17, 2013, and October 15, 2018. California Vehicle Assembly Plant. The Chinese agency has ordered Tesla to replace the rear linkage of their left and right front suspension and the upper linkage of the left and right rear suspension with an improved one for all the cars that are part of the recall at no cost to the owners. At that time, Tesla declared on Twitter and in a corporate blog post that the NHTSA found no safety concerns with the Model S suspension and have no further need for data. He also claimed that the complaints about suspension issues to NHTSA were fabricated. Tesla did not immediately respond to the request for comment. In China, this is Tesla's fourth recall for cars exported from the U.S. Earlier recalls in China involved replacing faulty airbags made by Takata and fixing or preventing steering problems. Tesla has instead blamed the issue on driver abuse, writing driver usage in expectation for damageability is uniquely severe in the Chinese market. If the customer's input and abuse load the parts that may be damaged, leading either to immediate failure or delay failure from a compounding effects of initial abuse and subsequent load input. According to letters, Tesla first met with Chinese regulators on August 24th, agreed to a voluntary recall by August 27th, and filed a formal notification about it in China on August 28th. Just a few days later, on September 1st, Tesla would announce, without discussing this recall with shareholders, that it was raising $5 billion in an at-the-market offering. Tesla's Made in China Model 3 electric sedan is the best-selling battery electric model in China this year. The China Passenger Car Association reports that Tesla sold 79,908 units of the Made in China Model 3 sedan during the first nine months of 2020. Tesla recently began exporting some of those Made in China Model 3s to Europe. Reporting is Kelly Key, and I'm going to leave you with the rest of the driving dynamics of the Tesla Model X. Um, there will be a full video of it at a later date, but please enjoy, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next video.